This video is going to show you how to easily and quickly set up Pixelborn so that you yourself can enjoy some online games of the new League of Legends TCG Riftbound, which I know I myself and many others are very excited about. Okay, first things first, I definitely recommend joining their Discord. All the links can be found there, but I will also include them down in the description here. And I'll try my best to keep that updated, but if not, be sure to check out their Discord. So first we need to download the client. To do that, you're going to need this link here. To this Google Drive where you'll find the install, as you can see here. And of course, you're going to want the engine key Riftbound download. And it's worth noting here that if you have used Pixelborn in the past for other TCGs, this one for Riftbound is a different install. So be sure to install the correct one. So go ahead and just click on that and then hit download. Find the downloaded file and go ahead and use an extractor like 7-zip to extract it all. And once you do that, you can click in here and here you go. Here's the client right here, Pixelborn. So click that to boot it up and you'll be brought to the login page. If you do have a login from previous times using Pixelborn, you can use that one. But if you're brand new to it, go ahead and create a login. Oh, and real quick, do want to make a note that Pixelborn is not affiliated with Riot. Okay. But yeah, once you're logged in, you'll see this page here. The next thing you need to do is get all the card images installed onto your computer so you can see the cards. So to do that, you're going to click on the upper right there on settings and you need to put a link into this box here. And shout out to the community and Cascade here for making it super easy for everyone. This is the link that you'll need. So you're going to ahead and copy this. I'll have this down in the description or you can find it again in their Discord. So you're going to copy this exact link. Then again, take this over to this box here and paste it in there and hit update. This will take a little bit of time, but once it is done, be sure to restart the client. And then once you hop back in, click on cards and there you go. All the beautiful images of these wonderful cards. So yeah, depending on when you're watching this video, this will get updated. Right now it's reveal season, so new cards are being added when they're able to, but there's currently everything's up to date. So then from here to be able to actually play, you're going to click on new decks on the deck section there and go ahead and throw together your deck. It does have nice filter options up top. You can filter through your legends, your battlefields, get all that stuff added. There are websites out there like this one here. They can go in and take a look out if you just want to get an idea for a deck, then go ahead and click and throw in all your cards. There is an import deck feature, but I'm not sure if any sites currently are using the correct code for Pixelborn. I'm sure they will in the future. But if not, you know, it's pretty easy to use the filters and just go ahead and add up your deck like this. Save it up and then you're ready to rock. From here, you're going to go ahead and click on play. And it will have a rank ladder, but currently that is not live until all the reveals are over. So you're just going to head to lab and hit play. And again, this has online matchmaking. So yeah, and that's it. Then you're ready to play. If you have no idea how the game is played, there's many uh, great how to's out there on YouTube. I'll quickly go over a few things Pixelborn wise, just to make sure you guys get off on a good foot. See, as you go into the game, you might have multiple champions in your deck. So just confirm which one you want off to the side. Who goes first or second will be randomly chosen. Then of course, here is your mulligan phase. Pick how many cards you want to throw back, one or two, if any. Then once you're in the game, you go ahead and hover over your locations to get a better look. You see over here on the right side, the red and purple icons, the one and three. Those are going to be specific runes that you have. You can hover over your own cards, your opponent's cards. Everything's pretty easy and works really well. One thing I do want to mention over here, I see the end turn. Sometimes that will say pass priority. So make sure to keep an eye on that. Sometimes you just got to make the decision whether you want to use a spell like in a showdown or not. And you just have to let the game know whether you want to pass over priority to your opponent or not. I think sometimes players forget to keep an eye out for that. But yeah, you might have to pass priority depending on, you know, what's going on in the game. But yeah, currently it works well. Things are getting bug fixed constantly. If you do run into any issues, be sure to let them know and enjoy the game. All right, hopefully you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Thank you to any that decide to subscribe. We'll be sure to have some more Riftbound videos coming up like deck videos and some online gameplay. Thanks for watching.